Hey everyone, Evan here. Earlier this summer, I decided to do the training to complete my instrument rating. We don't often get a chance to fly in the clouds here in Colorado because of possible icing. And I'm happy being a VFR pilot, but I wanted to do some volunteer flying for the Lighthawk organization. And my insurance company suggested it might be a good idea for me to get the instrument rating. So uh, that was a push I needed. Anyway, I did a lot of flights this summer with my instructor, Austin Stoller, who is fabulous. And uh, this video is of a flight we did down to Colorado Springs to practice some approaches down there. So, welcome aboard. I'm Evan Anderman, a geologist, photographer, and pilot based in Denver, Colorado. Come with me as I discover new ways to look at the environment. Go on east, six mic you, thank you. Do a couple there and then come back here. D1? Yep. Okay. Yeah, if there, we'll start with the RNAV. If that one's good, then we'll do the power partial panel localizer. That one's good. We'll just come back here. Do one in here. Okay. Number six, Mike Yankee, monitor tower. Monitor tower, six, Mike Yankee. So that's the 756 Mike Yankee Centennial Tower, runway 17 left, lap away. Traffic series five northwest, additional traffic across sound field. Line up away, 17 left, six, Mike Yankee. Controller train change right now? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Transponder though. Oh, thank you. Good catch. Oh, I see some crossing. Six Mike Yankee, wind 2305, southeast approved, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff off of 17 left and southeast approved, Six Mike Yankee. Do you have a heading? Yep, 150. 150, okay. And direct Colorado Springs Airport when able. Okay, direct Colorado Springs. And climb maintain 8,700. helicopter 8,700. I guess it's love to see the one to pick, furthest out. Yeah, it's way out here. We're gonna get back to you. Okay, the RNAV, Yankee, one seven left, call it a spring. Got it. Programmed in, final approach course, one seven two, minimums, LPV, six three eight seven. The missed approach, climbed to 9,000 feet. Direct C and on track one zero zero to break and hold. And the missed approach point is the decision altitude. Notes for uncompensated barrel V down. That doesn't apply. Uh, approach lights increase LMAV at C D visibility. And approach light system. Colorado Springs approach station air seven five six Mike Yankee at twenty one to the north with whiskey. Stationary 756 Mike Yankee, Springs Pro Squad 4607. 4607, 6 Mike Yankee. Stationary 756 Mike Yankee, Springs Pro Squad, radar contact 20 miles north of Springs Airport, stay healthy. 8,700 for 6 Mike Yankee. 6 Mike Yankee, you're a full stop with information, Whiskey. Uh, uh, negative, we'd like to do the RNAV Yankee 17 left. 6 Mike Yankee, Roger. Be a delayed vector fly heading on 120, maintain VFR. 120, maintain VFR, 6 Mike Yankee. This is 6 Mike on. Yankee, fly heading on 160, join the final approach course for runway 17 left. Report on final, maintain VFR at or above 9 or 1000. Uh, 160 and join the final approach course for uh, 17 left. And what was the altitude again? 6 Mike Yankee. 6 Mike Yankee, at or above 9 or 1000. What do you want to do on the go? At or above 9000, we'd like to come around and do it again. 6 Mike Yankee. Six Mike Yankee, Roger. Maintain VFR out of low 8,500 on the go and fly runway heading back here. At or below 8,500, a runway heading and uh, come back to you, Six Mike Yankee. And Tower Six Mike Yankee is on the final for 17 left. Six Mike Yankee, you're cleared RNAV Yankee, runway 17 left approach. 
clear to R9, Yankee 17 left approach, 6 Mikey. Oh, so so technically you couldn't have descended because you weren't cleared for the approach yet. Oh, that was interesting. I've, I've never heard it, heard it been done like that way. before. Okay. The 6 Mikey Yankee, contact tower. Contact tower, 6 Mikey Yankee. Colorado Springs Tower, station 756, Mike Yankee on the RNAV, Yankee 17 left, uh, going missed afterwards. Station 756, Mike Yankee, Springs Tower, 11707, running 17 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 17 left, 6 Mike Yankee. So what I would have done in that case is I would have stayed at 9000 because you had your glide slip ready and you could just capture the, capture the 9000 instead of 87, yeah. Uh, 7000 for 687. And six Mike Yankees going missed. Six Mike Roger. That looked good. You feel good with that one? No, it was good. All right, let's do the localizer next. Okay. Station six Mike Yankee contact departure. Contact departure six Mike Yankee. Departure station error seven five six Mike Yankee uh, just went missed from one seven left. Station error seven five six Mike Yankee Springs departure radar contact say next request. Uh, we'd like to do the localizer one seven left please. There six Mike Yankee how this approach terminate. Uh, we'll go miss to the north after that approach. There's six Mike Yankee. Climb out instructions remain the same. Turn left heading 080. Maintain VFR 9000. 080, 9000. Six Mike Yankee. You correct for it nicely. The one thing I will say is you descended a little yeah, bit we got below. 842, Mike Bravo is 250 on altitude. the heading, visual. Oh, did I? So okay. what I would do, like 50 feet right. maybe? Uh, yeah. So what I would do is round right. up. Okay. Uh, what's 10 degrees? So instead about, of. Uh, 17 right. What was it? 5380? 6387. Yeah, yeah, so that's 6387. 87. Yeah. Round up to 6400. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That way you'll, you have time to look up, do your add power, do this stuff, yeah. and then you won't descend below yeah. it. Okay, let's pause for a second and decipher what Austin just said. The decision altitude, or DA, associated with precision approaches is the altitude where you make the decision to either continue to land or make a missed approach. And you may go slightly below that altitude as you make that decision. The minimum descent altitude, or MDA, used with non-precision approaches is an absolute minimum altitude floor that you cannot go below until you see the runway environment. But you do fly along at that altitude until you get to the missed approach point at which point you have to go missed. So let's look at the approach plate for the RNAV Yankee runway 17 left at Colorado Springs. The minimums for the LPV approach, which is what I just flew, are labeled as a DA or decision altitude. Whereas if for some reason you didn't have the WASP capability and the approach was downgraded to LNAV, you can see that it's labeled as MDA or M minimum descent altitude. And you'd have to adhere to all the step down altitudes and the minimum altitude. Now let's get back to our flight. There's six Mike Yankee, turn left heading 350. Left 350, six Mike Yankee. Okay, localizer 17 left, Colorado Springs, got it tuned in, ID it. Final approach course 172, the minimums, minimums, 
as we can identify Humpy 7020. So the mist. Climb the city. Bravo, turn right heading 310. Then climbing 310 on the head. Left turn to 9000. Heading 020. On Black Forest. A radial 091. To a Dane. And hold. And the mist approach point will be the runway threshold. And the notes, simultaneous approach authorized with runway 17 right. At the same lights, the approach lighting, runway lighting, center line, touchdown zone. Very six Mike Yankee, turn left heading 260. Left 260, six Mike Yankee. There are six Mike Yankee, traffic 10 o'clock, uh, correction, 11 o'clock, and three miles eastbound to Cherokee, 9,200. Looking. Looking for that traffic, six Mike Yankee. There are six Mike Yankee, turn left heading 230 now. Left 230, six Mike Yankee. There are six Mike Yankee, that traffic now, 11 o'clock, and two miles still eastbound, 9,200. 9, still looking. Still looking for that traffic, six Mike Yankee. Mike Yankee, for that traffic, uh, fly heading 180. 180, 6 Mike Yankee. That's 100 feet. Got him in sight. Traffic in sight, 6 Mike Yankee. 6 Mike Yankee, roger, fly heading 200, join the runway 17 left localizer. 200, join the 17 left localizer, 6 Mike Yankee. There's 6 Mike Yankee, 1 mile from A1, cleared ILS, correction, localizer approach, runway 17 left. Cleared, localized approach, 17 left, 6 Mike Yankee. Six Mike Yankee, contact tower one one nine point nine. Contact tower six Mike Yankee. Tower stationary seven five six Mike Yankee on the uh, localizer one seven left. Chair seven five six Mike Yankee Springs tower behind a skunk in the downwind. Wind wind zero nine and right one seven left. Uh, clear for the option. Clear for the option one seven left six Mike Yankee. Uh, rock, I could go down to seven five forty. And I want you to go mist at your VDP. Oh, with the VDP. Okay. Yep. Okay. Tell me the, so it's 2.5 miles to the right. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, Tower 6 Mike Yankee is going missed. 6 Mike Yankee, roger. He's back. 6 Mike Yankee, turn right 260. VFR 3 discretion. Right 260, 6 Mike Yankee. Station 6 Mike Yankee, contact departure 120.6. 120.6, 6 Mike Yankee. Departure 120.6, 6 Mike Yankee at 9000. Number 756 Mike Yankee Springs. Departure radar contact, turn right head in 330. 330 to the right, 6 Mike Yankee. Do you want to do an RNAV 1 or a local weather? Probably RNAV 2A. They just land straight in. Okay. That'll be easier to get. Yeah. How'd you feel about the last one? Um, The approach was good. I kept drifting to the left a little bit. Yep, no, it looked great. But otherwise, I think everything was good. Yep, no I issues there. Yep, but you flew fine. You cut the VDP perfectly, so... Yeah. He won't have you go miss at the VDP, but... It's, it's good to know how to find it, too, because it's different. Yankee. Air Force Academy is closed. You can resume own navigation. Uh, resume own navigation, 6 monkey. I guess that means put in Centennial. Yeah, just go direct there. Number 6 Mike Yankee, contact Denver approach 132.75. 13275, thanks for your help, 6 Mike Yankee. Disregard, uh, Rancid, Squawk, VFR, change to, uh, change approved. That's for me. Uh, six, was that for 6 Mike Yankee? Approach, stationary 756, Mike Yankee at 9000. Okay, if you're calling VFR and outside for VFR services, remain outside of the Bravo and the Denver route 73022. I guess that means we got canceled, huh? Yeah, just do Squawk, right, VFR. 
You want me to go into uh, docky? Yeah, just go direct docky. Okay. Let me just vector you through the practice area. Okay. Okay, left to uh, 360 now. Left 360. Hard to have 28 Sentinel, got good Sentinel approach course, 28 minimums, LPV 6079. Just approach, climb to 6400, and climbing right turn to 9000, direct Esbel and hold notes. Flies is uh, circling 35 left, not applicable at night. Lights, there's a Pappy. Runway and identifier lights, medium intensity runway lights. Go direct docking now. And descend and maintain 7,500. And to maintain 7,500. Have to give you some delay vectors. Turn right to 070. Right, 070. Okay, direct docking now. Okay, direct docking. And you're good to contact tower whenever. Sentinel Tower, Station Air 756, Mike Yankee, about 12 southeast with Lima. Like to do a straight in for 28. 756, Mike Yankee, Sentinel Tower. Make straight in runway 28, you're flying Mooney, about two, two and a half miles in front of you. Straight in 28, looking for that traffic, 6 Mike Yankee. Remember, 6 Mike Yankee, runway 28, clear to land, you're number 2 flying the Mooney. They're still about uh, 3 to 4 miles ahead of you now. Clear to land, 28, behind the traffic, 6 Mike Yankee. 6900 for 6079. 6100. There's 6100, 6080. There's the minimums. For 6 Mike Yankee, turn right Charlie 3 or Charlie 2, proceed via the ramp. Have a good one. Right Charlie 3 to the ramp, 6 Mike Yankee, thank you. Yeah, I felt like for a while the wind was out of the southwest, and then we got down low enough and came out of the north. Yeah, so you could have expected that though, right? Because of what the published winds were. Because you, you had a, had to have a pretty good correction in, yeah. flying in, but yeah, yeah exactly. the reported winds are pretty calm here, so you know there's going to be a point when you're going to have, have to correct for that. One thing he's probably going to want to see a little bit more of is checklist. Oh yeah, okay. Like before everything is great, you take off, and then, like, it doesn't have to be much to just have it out, go through the flow and verify it. Okay. Just say checklist complete. Cruise checklist complete or climb checklist complete. Like, before landing is a big one, just being able to work that in. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and learned something. You'll be happy to know that about 10 days after that flight, I successfully passed my check ride. So now I officially have my instrument rating. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next flight. Thank you.